Hello Capricorn, how are you? I hope you're doing well as usual and welcome to my channel. And uh, Capricorn, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So if you have Capricorn in any of those placements in your chart, this is just about the reading for you. Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything, okay? And Capricorn, the best time for you to watch or see my readings or listen to them is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why my readings are timeless and it's, that's how it usually works. Please do check your other placements, see what signs you have. Don't just focus on your sun sign. See what signs you have in your moon, rising, Venus, because maybe you want to check the readings I do for those specific signs. Sometimes your messages come more from there. It all depends. Please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly really appreciate it very much. All of that helps my channel grow. It's the best way you can support a channel. And I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. And last but not least, Capricorn, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me. There's no other way and I do not reach out to anyone offering my services. So please do be aware of any scams, okay? All right. Capricorn, the heart of the matter, what this reading is about, the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Knight of Pentacles, that's a very nice energy, okay? This is about, you know, feeling very abundant, feeling lucky, having things working out for you, okay? Well, um, confidence is always needed here. And uh, your intuition is also very needed. And it's probably starting to become very highlight, highlighted for some of you, okay? Um, and I get a message about, you should treat yourself a little more to something. Or treat yourself a little more the way you would like others to treat you, okay? Uh, very grounded energy just as you are earth sign okay earth energy very grounded and I think somehow you're staying realistic with your expectations that's very good the energy that's crossing you could be challenging you for some of you it could be a blockage king of wands This is a strong masculine energy, fire, mostly Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Some of you could have this in your chart, but uh, I don't know, I have a sense that this could be also someone around you who might like to do things more their own way, okay? Okay, we'll, we'll see in a minute, let me see. Hmm. I think it is. The energy that's crowning you in your conscious mind, you do see clearly. You are aware of this or something you're constantly thinking of. It's the Justice card, it's Libra energy. And it's this sense, you know, of wanting this, I hear like a divine order, this divine justice to come in and make things more balanced and equal between you and someone else, probably. I think you are, you know, you're in this more in this energy of you're minding more your own business, which is a big plus for you. 
Some of you maybe, you know, you should be minding your own business and trying not to get your um, how would I say try not to take too much of a quick decision or action regarding something, okay? Especially if you are trying to bring justice to a situation. Okay, be very careful not to do that because you're not in, you are in no position to do that, okay? Only the divine or can really bring justice the way it has to be brought in a situation. The energy that's below you in your subconscious mind, you don't see clearly. You're not aware of this, but you should, you know. It's the Eight of Pentacles. It's right before that Nine of Pentacles energy. So it's strongly telling me that what they're trying to tell you is that you have to just focus on yourself, master on your own energy, on your own self, so you can reach this beautiful Nine of Pentacles energy. Okay, this, this, it's about you putting the hard work on yourself so that then you can treat yourself to whatever it is that you think you deserve in life and for your own good, okay? King of Wand energy is telling me that it's I get two very strong messages. It's one, you know, don't do things from a point or from a state of just wanting to get things done, you know, um, quickly. Uh, don't take action just from a state of It's that it's just being too quick, what I'm trying to say. Stubbornness or I don't know, okay? Um, don't let that energy come in and try to... I think there's something here that has to be worked on in a more, how would I say, proper way, calmly. It's because it's mastering, it's perfectioning something, okay? Now, the other energy that I'm getting here is that this is somebody else who's watching you, putting the hard work on yourself, and I don't think they like it. They don't like the changes, or how you have changed, or how you are improving. It's like they can see how you are evolving at a spiritual level and as a human being as a personal at a personal level and you know that the divine is somehow watching over you and just making sure that they've got your back here as long as you focus on yourself okay that's the whole point of this it's just as long as you focus on yourself and you put hard work on yourself. You will always be watched over and you know that because that justice card is in your crown chakra. You, you are aware of this. The energy where you're coming from behind you, recent past, is the death card, Scorpio energy. It's, it's a transformation. Some of you have probably gone or started an awakening, okay? But this is a transformation for you. Some of you, you know, it could be a death of ego, even. Which could be this King of Wand energy, you know. It's not letting your ego jump in and trying to rush things when it shouldn't, when you should focus more on yourself, you know. But w either way, this King of Wand, like I said, if it's you or it's someone else, or something else around you, um, something happened for you in the past for you to step into this new transformation in your life 
Okay? And it could have been, it could have been very painful and, and even scary for some of you. The energy, it's an interesting energy I just, I just picked up on this. It's the Seven of Swords. Um, this card always talks about uh, trickery, mysteries done behind your back, uh, things hidden behind your back, you know. Um, but I'm getting a very strong energy of You know how the seven of how it also has this energy of you're trying to prevent something, okay? You're, so you're taking the swords with you. Well, I think that whatever it is that you're going through, it's also teaching you something. It might be humbling you to the point where. If someone ever asks you in the future, how did you do this? Or some of you are going to understand that whatever it is, the situation or, or the process that you're going through, it's a very hard lesson in your life. And your stability has to do with your stability. Some people, some, somebody's going to ask you, how did you do it? And at another point in your life, you, you would say something like, uh, why should I share that information if I had to go through this all on my own? And it wasn't easy for me. So I'm going to take all the swords and I'm going to take, take them with me. And I think some of you are changing that point that way of, of seeing things you're going to release that energy and I think you're going to be learning how I mean you're going to be teaching others how to go through the same situation so that it's not as maybe painful and confusing uh, for others it's amazing because the justice card is crowning you and that's immediately immediately telling you you know what's the best thing you know what's the right thing to do humbling you it is about humbling you so yeah the situation is humbling you and take that as it resonates okay so yeah you won't you You'll be more than happy to share your knowledge with others. Now, yes, for others of you, you do know that maybe there's someone or something that has been kind of sneaky with you, okay? It could be this King of Wand energy, and I think... I think you won't be caring much about this anymore in the future because you know divine justice is there to, to protect you. All you have to do is just focus on yourself, okay? But the hard work on yourself so that this nine of pentacle energy, you can, you can step up in your power because that nine of pentacle energy is almost a pre-empress. It's how you see yourself, how you're responding to the situation. Four of Wands. This is, you know, things be are becoming more harmonious for you. It's more balancing. The Justice card, yeah, it's, it's more harmony. Maybe, you know, by this new way of thinking, even things surrounding you might start becoming more harmonious. But I think this is more than anything in you. Because you're putting you're putting more of the work and effort on yourself. You're focusing more on yourself. So this is gonna bring a lot more harmony within you. It's like things are not gonna affect you that much anymore. Somebody's doing something behind your back, it's like let's see how far they can get with us, you know? And that's pretty much also that. 
you, this, you, you, you're unbothered by this, or you're becoming unbothered by this. The energy that's surrounding you, it's influencing you. Maybe for some of you affecting you, but it's more than anything, it's, it's around you. Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, you know? It's uh, confusion, not being able to seek with clarity, things with clarity. But uh, I think you're tired of dealing with this energy. That's, that's the whole point. You're not letting, or you will not be letting your emotions get on the way anymore. If there was something or someone doing things behind your back, you know, and trying to keep you confused somehow, yeah, it's, uh, I think you could give a mouse's fart about this from now on. It's just about staying focused on what you truly want now and not letting other things throw you off, especially emotionally, because you're going to be in a more harmonious energy, focusing on yourself, it's a transformation. And that's when the divine justice comes in and does things, makes things work more in your favor. Your hopes and fears, the full card, Aries energy. You want to be able to, you know, release all this, whatever it is that has been trying to do things behind your back, maybe. Whatever it is that you feel that you have had to ask justice for, just to be able to set yourself free and take a new leap of faith, you know, somewhere else. Some of you might have a a pet, a white dog for some of you, who's somehow not necessarily guides you, but even just gives you some type of, 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 of moral support, you know? Pets will always do that. But if not, you know, this could be a guide with you that could be tr truly telling you, you know, it's time for, for a new leap of faith. It's time for a new beginning in your life. But the only way to do this is, is by focusing on yourself and not dealing with this low frequency energies, okay? Because you know what's the right thing to do. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice. I think it's both, okay? Check that out. Beautiful. Victory, success. For some of you, it might even be in the public eye or some type of recognition, okay? The divine will recognize. You will recognize yourself. There's nothing better than self-recognition in life because once you do that, it, it, it's... then everything and everyone recognizes you equal. But you will have success. And some of you are asking yourselves, you know, can I have a new beginning? Can I have a new start somewhere else? Yes, you can. Because that's in your hopes and fears. That's in your mind. Yes, you can as long as you put the hard work on yourself and you keep yourself in this harmonious and balanced energy. You will be successful. Okay? But something about your energy, you know, it's just, Bottom of the deck, four of pentacles, yes. It's something about your energy. It's protecting yourself. You see? There's nothing wrong with being a little selfish, okay? Don't think that you are being probably selfish sometimes. Uh, you have to manage your energy, your time more and think more about yourself here and not others. Okay, it's very important. Okay, let's get additional message in case I'm missing something or, you know, maybe something very important or even a warning. I don't know. 
It all depends. And then we'll close your reading with the spur of the animal stick. Let's see, what else do we have? What else would you like to tell Capricorn regarding this reading? If there's something else you would like to say, if there's something very important that they need to know, what would it be? Please be as clear as possible. Okay, thank you. I have the lovers in the bottom of the card. Okay, that's also a strong sign of, you know, things being balanced. Okay, coming to a divine union. And that things will work out. But stay focused within yourself. Gemini energy. And the card that flew out is the king of wands. Okay, don't let this energy, that's a warning. Don't let this energy Either if it's within you, creep up on you and, and try to mess things up for you, okay? I mean, literally, mess things for yourself. Or don't let anyone else, who could be a fire sign, um, don't let them try to mess things up for you. They can't. You're protected as long as you focus on yourself and don't think that you can bring justice to the table, you're not allowed to do that. You are in no position, remember that, okay? It's very important. You will betray yourself that way. Ten of Swords, okay? Okay, Spirit of the Animal deck. Remember this uh, message may or may not come from a spirit animal or a spirit guide, but may come from an animal you simply feel very connected or related to. Take it as it resonates. This message for Capricorn, please. What else would you like to tell Capricorn, please? Thank you. Capricorn, you have the raccoon inventor. And the raccoon is telling you to decide on what you really want. Okay, keep your eyes on the price. Don't let other things affect you or throw you off balance. You have the ingenuity to claim it. You will be successful, okay? Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. Okay, that energy within you, if it's you, okay. Very interesting. And you have many roles and you can judge, juggle. You can juggle them well. Okay. That's good. Nice, very nice. Okay, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there for you. That's the best I can do for you. I think it's a very nice reading, okay. Just focus on yourself and stay laser focused i hope it helps you i hope you like it if you do hit the like button leave me a comment i would truly appreciate it very much capricorn i hope to see you next time as usual and please do stay safe be happy and stay very safe stay safe <laughs> stay happy and stay blessed <laughs> i don't know what happened there but my mind went my mind went weird on me right there okay capricorn goodbye